Paco, do you like boxes? Oh, this is another box. Oh my god. Just look at the size. Look at that. Let's go for the last box. Beachwood. Very great quality guys. Very impressed. Never seen like so many layers. Ciao guys, I'm thrilled to announce a new series based on my first impression on 10 model ship kits. Whether you're an experienced model maker or just starting out, this video will provide you with an inside look at some of the latest and greatest model ship kits out there. From historical replicas to modern day marvels, I will unbox the kit, I will examine it and I will give you a first hand impression on what you can expect from these kits. You will see the intricate level of details that goes into each kit and learn about the difficulty so you can make an informed decision before buying one of them. Kits I will examine are the HMS Bounty, the Arno Ferrari, the Nina, the Pinta, uh, the kit I will examine are the HMS Bounty, the Drakkar, the Bireme, the Arno Ferrari, the Nina, the Pinta, the Mayflower First Step, the Anna, the Trabacolo and the Chinese Junk. The factors I will consider when showing you each of them will be the usual things you should consider before buying basically anything. The skill level. Consider always your skill level. Some kits may be more challenging than others, so it's important to choose a kit that matches your abilities. Parts and materials. Make sure you understand what's inside the kits, the kind of materials you will be dealing with. Some kit might include more or less parts, or parts with different materials. For example, I'm not very comfortable with plastics, for example, but you may be. Uh, come from model ship building, model ship plastic building, and you will be uh, comfortable with that. Some kits might differ in terms of uh, quality of material. This factor will impact the overall look and feel of the model. And last but not least, the cost. Keep in mind that a higher price might indicate higher quality materials or more detailed parts. I might consider mentioning other important factors from time to time, depending also on the kits. The accuracy in terms of uh, history. So if you are building a historical ship or realistic replica, consider collecting documentation uh, before buying the kit. Size. This might be another factor which would be quite important to some of you. So con really consider the size of the model. So make sure it fits your expectation and space limitation. Some kits may result in a smaller or larger than you previously anticipated. If you think I should consider other parameters when making this first impression video, let me know in the comments below. Also, anytime, leave a comment and let me know your favorite model, because if one of the videos of this series gets a substantial interest, I might consider doing a step-by-step -step video series. Remember to leave a like and share this video with your friends if you want to show me your support, and I'll see you in the next video.